dear students i welcome you all for this video lecture series on professional ethics in engineering today actually we are going to discuss about uh, engineers as responsible experimenters before that myself shankar i am working as assistant professor in the department of computer science and engineering rmd engineering college chennai let's see responsible engineers in social experimentation before that we'll see what are the general responsibilities of engineers to the society engineers are primarily considered as technical enablers or facilitators rather than being the sole experimenters engineers responsibility is shared with management the public and others the other unique responsibilities of engineers includes monitoring projects identifying risks providing customers and clients the required information to make reasonable decisions while exercising engineering duties the engineers should display the virtue of being morally responsible persons let's see what are the general features of morally responsible engineers they are consciousness it's a primary obligation or a primary duty of morally responsible engineers is to protect the safety of human subjects and respects the right of consent the second one is comprehensive perspective it means the relevant information it is the morally responsible engineer should have constant awareness of the experimental nature of the project forecasting of its possible side effects and a decent effort to monitor them the next one is moral autonomy the morally responsible engineers are the one who are personally motivated to have a dedicated involvement in all aspects of a project next one is accountability the morally responsible engineers should be accountable for the results of their projects now let us examine the above four elements in detail in the following sections the first one is con consciousness it means commitment to life according to certain values it implies consciousness engineers have to be sensitive to a range of moral values and responsibilities which are relevant in a given situation also engineers should have the willingness to develop the skills and apply the effort needed to reach the best balance possible among various considerations open eyes open ears and an open mind are required to evaluate the given situation it has implications and to determine who are involved or affected the notion of engineering as social experimentation reiterates the role of engineers as guardians of the public interest that is engineers have to guard the welfare and safety of those affected by engineering projects the next one is relevant information consciousness is impossible without relevant factual information engineers have to show the commitment to obtain the properly gauge all the information related to meeting one's moral obligations the two general ways of losing perspective on the context and the nature of one's works or is given one second the example is there is nothing wrong for an engineer try to do design a good signal transmitter but if he ignores the fact that his design will be used for the potential illegal purpose and the next one to shift the responsibilities and blame to others in the organization the above two cases illustrates the situation of lack of moral concern as considering engineering as social experimentation it is important that engineers act as responsible agents 
responsible agents requires imaginative forecasting of possible bad side effects, the development of an attitude of defensive engineering and preventive technology, careful monitoring of projects, and respect for people's right to give informed consent. Next, comprehensive perspective. The engineers should grasp the context of his work and ensure that the work involved results in only moral ends. Not to accept design, a product has a built in absolute or redundant component to boost sales with a false claim. The next one is moral autonomy. As we have already discussed, the moral autonomy is the ability to think critically and independently about moral issues and apply the moral thinking to situations that arise during the professional engineering practices. It is understood that an individual personality depends on the integration of his moral beliefs and attitudes because the normal beliefs and attitudes lead to a committed actions. When one's labor and skills are sold, then it is an illusion to think that the person is not morally autonomous. For example, when an employee working for a company performs a specific job in the best interest of the company, then the employee is not morally and personally identified with his actions. As an experimenter, an engineer has to undergo an extensive and updated training to form his identity as a professional. Regarding engineers, a social experimentation can help to restore a sense of autonomous participation and sense of personal involvement with one another. When viewing engineering as a social experimentation and anticipating unknown consequences should promote an attitude of questioning about adequacy of existing economic and safety standards. The last one is accountability. In this, the accountability means the capacity to understand and act on moral reasons, means being responsible, liable, answerable, and obligated. Morally responsible peoples are expected to accept morally responsibility for their actions. According to Stanley Milgram, people are not willing to accept personal accountability when placed under authority. And morally responsible people are expected to accept moral responsibility for their actions. Because, because of modern engineering practices, the complications in accepting one's moral accountability Further, some of these situations are explained uh, in the following. The first one is modern engineering projects involve teamwork in which each member contributes a small portion of the project. So this practice has narrowed the sense of personal accountability. The modern organizations are based on the personal of divisions of work. Due to this divisions of work, the personal accountability also stretched with the hierarchies of authority. Mostly, there is a pressure to move on to a new projects before completing the current one. This practice also lessens the sense of personal accountability of the project. Finally, the leg legalities in a time of pro malpractice lawsuits. Thus, the engineers who agree the perspective of engineering as a social experimentation cannot separate themselves psychologically from personal responsibility for their work. Thank you guys for watching this lecture series. Thank you once again.